हाई एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल टूडे एम गोइंग टू बी टॉकिंग अबाउट इ लबू का दादी ब्रुजरी नोन एज द डेड्यू और ब्रिलियट हैचेट इट इज अ ब्यूटिफुल नेटिव इंडियन फिश दैट इज रेयरली सीन इन द एक्वेरियम हॉबी और ट्रेड If you get any valuable information from this video then make sure to subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up so i can create more such valuable content Labuka dadi burjari is more commonly found under the old scientific name Chena dadi burjari It is an underrated fish that is ideal for a medium sized community tank of peaceful fish Labugadadi burjari was first described in 1952 by the grandly named Ambat Gopalan Kutti Menon and it was named in honor of one of his assistants same dadi burjar The dadi was a peaceful fish that is compatible with other small non aggressive fish It is also an active fish that enjoys swimming in the middle to upper levels of the aquarium Dadi of fish are also known for their jumping ability so it is important to have a lid on your aquarium I repeat this fish is very active and should not be kept in an aquarium without the lid or proper cover The brilliant hatchet fish is native to the Indian subcontinent endemic to India where both color morphs coexist The fish is generally found in the Western Ghats region of Tamil Nadu to Goa in a variety of habitats including rivers streams and lakes It is a streamline shaped small fish typically growing to only about 1 inch in length The fish has a slender body and a forked tail. It has two color morphs, one with a distinct blue line and the other with a dotted blue line. Yellow tinged brown upper parts and white belly are separated with a metallic blue mid lateral stripe. Some individuals have blue spots distributed along the stripe. The fins are colorless apart from the caudal fin which has a yellow tinge to the base. The pectoral fins are held tilted and slightly upwards. Now let's talk about the habitat. The dadio fish is a relatively easy fish to care for if you provide cooler temperature with lots of floating material. It will look great in a planted tank because of the golden color that pops out on a green background. In a biotope, give them some cover by adding floating leaves and floating plants which will also reduce the likelihood of the fish jumping. The dadio fish is a shoaling fish. So it is best to keep them in groups of at least 5 or 6. Dadio fish are relatively hardy and can tolerate a wide range of water conditions. However, they do best in soft water and slightly acidic. So here are some of the care requirements that you need to keep in mind. Minimum 1 and 1/2 feet horizontal tanks are preferred rather than tanks with more height. Water temperature. In the wild, these fish inhabit subtropical pools and streams. So cooler than average temperatures and gentle water circulation are advised. A temperature around 22 to 25 degrees Celsius is most suitable. Water pH 6.5 to 7.5 is recommended. Although I keep at pH of 8 with no problem at all. Water hardness They highly prefer soft water, so don't even try to keep in hard water with a TDS above 200. Tank mates Do not keep with larger fish as they are sure to be eaten or dominated by fish larger than 2 and 1/2 inches. Dadio fish are not picky eaters and will accept a wide variety of foods including pellets, flake, frozen and live foods such as tubifacts, bloodworms and baby brine shrimp. Do remember that dadio stays mostly near the water surface. So food that quickly sinks is a big no. Floating and slow sinking food is what I would recommend especially if you plan to keep this fish in a community tank. The dadio fish is not a popular choice for breeding and it is not easy to breed in captivity. I personally never tried it but here are some tips if you want to breed this fish. First, let's talk about gender. Males have shorter bodies and often display brighter colors in breeding conditions. Mature females are slightly larger than males and plumper. To set up a breeding tank, one feet tank should be enough and use only soft, slightly acidic water. Add a smoring mop or mesh plant to the tank. Introduce a pair of dadio fish to the tank. The female will lay her eggs on the spawning mop or mesh plant. The eggs will look spherical in shape, transparent and unpigmented, with a pale yellow yolk and no oil globule. 
the eggs will hatch in about 2 to 3 days and the fry will be free swimming in about 5 to 7 days to learn more about breeding this fish check the link below in the description according to iucn the daddy was the least concerned fish yet not easily available in the trade it's unfortunate for fish keepers but very fortunate for this species as fishes in the aquarium trade are more threatened and some are near to extinct so as a hobbyist i would highly recommend breeding fish if you need more or prefer a fish breeder than the seller who keeps importing the fish and sells only for profits also do not rely too much on wild caught fishes without any concern about having an impact on biodiversity the daddy of fish is a beautiful and cooler water fish that makes a great addition to any planted aquarium being this fish a great jumper i would not recommend it to beginners so if you have a closed aquarium and looking for a peaceful and colorful fish then daddy o fish is a great choice all right guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video about the daddy o fish if you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment below take care and i'll see you in the next video